look at the rest of the teams. I'm sticking to that um, purely because I think we, we have the goals, we have the standard of or quality of Nepal um, to meet the world stage. Yeah. Um, and I think because we're South African, we bring a different kind of variety and style of Nepal. So we're very unpredictable in that um, sense. Yes. So I think we complement a lot of and can cover a lot of different styles of Nepal in the World Cup. So I think we're looking good. Doctor, we also saw in the quad series where we even drew against a, one of the teams and we were even keeping up with the number one team in the world. Do you think we're going to be able to see that kind of Nepal today with our ladies? Well, we have the experience. I mean, I think um, I've read somewhere that they said uh, we average about 68. We average about 68 tests per player. So there's a, on the starting lineup, you'll see that this is a very sick team. They opted for height in the circle. Yes. So it's in interesting to mm -hmm. see that they went with Ina and Almeray. You know, that height will just kill anybody at the back. <laughs> so for the defense, that, that's definitely going to speed through the middle. Yeah. And then at the back, they went for uh, Shadeen and the experience on wing defense, combining well with uh, Carla and Pumza. Quite a good team, very yeah. experienced. Yes. Um, no debutants there. Indeed. So opted for experience. And I see that. But I want to ask you, China, when yes. it comes to our captain, my captain, Bong Somi, mm -hmm. many people have said they prefer her on the centre so, position. Yeah. So where do you see her, especially with her starting wing attack today? I think wing attack is a perfect position for her right now. It's her comfort zone because mm -hmm. it is her first position. She's brilliant at centre. I think that's why we love her. The speed, the control. I mean, you want your captain everywhere. So I think that's why people prefer to see her everywhere she goes. Yes. And then when we look at the whales and who we're up against, I think we see that um, their captain, um, wing defence, Nia yes. Long, um, Nia Jones, my apologies. She's um, going for Captain Fantastic. Uh, it's going to be a very physical game coming up because they are a physical side. But yeah. I think they put their best um, foot forward with a team that plays um, in the English Super League. Yes. Um, so they're very well conditioned girls who know each other really well. Mm. So bringing that to the South Africans, I think we're more than ready. We're seeing captain on captain. I want to yes. ask you, Doctor, when we look at this team, what substitute? do you think will come round about the half time because of course we can't leave it the same throughout the match what do you think we're going to see today well i think she would like to bleed in some of the debutants today so i hope to see john tay out at the back on wing yes. defense i think she's been working really hard on that position and you know to see um, nicole talliard out there on a goal attack taking mm. over from almeray and in my correction almeray is a debutant so yes. that's great so we'll have two new goal attacks out there mm -hmm. um, so, so that will be interesting. That's two, two, two changes that I would really like to see. And then, you know, we've got tomorrow Sri Lanka. You don't want to change too much. Mm -hmm. You want the team to get rhythm. You want to get them to settle down those nerves. Get the, 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 again, it's all about the units that needs to work. And uh, yes. today is all about that. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And of course, we see the Welsh team gearing up. There they are about to take to the court. I want to ask you in terms of what you mm -hmm. have seen from the Welsh team, China. Yes. Where do you think they are very strong? Oh, with that being said, we're going into our official time where we will be singing the national anthems and this is where South Africa, you better sing it proud, you better sing it loud. No matter where you are in the country, let's stand behind our girls and let's take this all the way to the top of the 2023 Nepal World Cup. And primary came, Beth and Dustin. Ladies and gentlemen, Wales. And now, ladies and gentlemen, take a moment, take it in for the first time Africa, on African on soil. Bullshit. The host, uh, African. Here come and South Africa. Norma Brahma, assistant coach, Nicole Kusekem, assistant coach, Jumi Sani Jaukem, team manager, Nisha Rukna Reine, and physiotherapist, Fikile Pasha. Someone tells me they're ready to cheer their heroes, but first, the national anthem. For the singing of the national anthem of South Africa and Wales, starting with the national anthem of Wales.
And ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of South Africa National Anthem. at home I hope that came across if they play like they sing then we might as well crown them champions now Zanelli Umdandani your former team you were their captain what a moment massive moment so heartwarming seeing the emotions on the spa approaches faces they know what a big opportunity this is the nation's hopes on this team's shoulders Monium saw me to lead her troops First match for the Spa Pro Cheers up against Wales. It takes two to tango and when it comes to a dance and taking central stage, there is no team better equipped than going up against South Africa and enjoying that fight than Wales. A look to the skies and first centre pass in their home World Cup for South Africa. Not a bad way to start. That's exactly how they want to start. That's exactly how they have to start the spa approaches, making sure they make use of their centre passes. noisy up here in the rafters but Vanessa Marie de Toy is down on that sideline have you even managed to be lifted off your seat yet <laughs> sounds like she has she's up in the air already we'll hear from Vanessa in just a moment but already up the other end South Africa putting that pressure back on Speaking to Captain Nia Jones, she said just about staying present in that moment and going goal for goal, which they're doing their job in these early minutes. And so me, that wing attack, big on. Well, hopefully, Vanessa can now hear us from inside that crowd. Love it when a plan comes together. With the goalkeeper now. Back in. Penalty pass. With Wales in that attacking end. 
and Yarrington floats into Georgia Rowe. Her height and her relative experience. She's one of those only two players for Wales to have previously played in a World Cup. Back at 3 3. Talking about matchups, and saw me, the captain of the Spa Pro, she is up against Nia Jones, the co captain of Wales. That's going to be a big one to watch out for. Powell Davis had a little go at trying to wrestle that ball back, but South Africa keep it in hand. Nice, patient, calm, but just bounces off the back, and Wales come away with it. Give the first turn. Oh, missed opportunity there for Wales then, but they get away with it, do the spa approaches, the quick transition on the attack. Saw me on the circle's edge, offloads to Van der Berg. And they breathe again. It is but a blink of a moment, but the turn came, they turned it back and maintained that lead. That's obstruction. Obstruction. It's a call against co captain Beth and Dyke. Vanderbilt. Contact with attack, penalty. Wing attack. Check, check. Yeah, the connection is not there at the moment. They're not finding each other, Van der Merwe. Fenter, rather, and Van der Berg. Again, here's an opportunity for Wales, but denied there by Van der Yes. Right, third time lucky. Vanessa, you're down there. I yes. wonder if the nerves have got the better of your equipment too. Oh, uh, I hope not. Can you uh, hear me now, Caroline? We've got you, we've yes. got you. Also, well, the noise is absolutely deafening at the moment. The crowd is on their feet. They shouting and screaming at every pass almost i mean you you would expect that from a goal being shot but everybody is going absolutely crazy because carla pretorius just took a beautiful deflect interception oh what a time to be alive caroline i mean sideline i can barely hear myself think this is like a number one album being played out for real just listen to the noise and that will tell you all you need to know about which way this one's going Oh, and the spectators, Lassies, we're quite happy there to see what the spa approaches are delivering at the moment. It is still early days though, it's only the first quarter. Still a lot of time on the clock, a lot of games still to be played. I'm really enjoying though this defensive setup here from Wales. They're not allowing the spa approaches, you know, to run their systems and get onto that circle's edge and hit that circle's edge with pace. Oh, falling short. Thunderberg, she's just gonna, you know, take a moment, take a breath. It's a big moment for her, you know, to get a starting opportunity in this opening match. Good backing up as well. Venter involved too. Now Wales, just having seen that lead creep away. All right, just the early, early stages of this one, but sensing a settler coming on. Contact goalkeeper. It's a goal shooter. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper settled. Contact all defense. Tunisia Chouane's 69th cap. She's really made that center bit position her own. Straight over the top again. Center calm as you like under that post. Nia Jones to her co captain. Beth and Dyke. Just like they were handing around sweets then. It's two calm players. Need to feed that through to the rest of their side. Rowe, exit the circle, and you don't hang that one up in front of her. Not with Cutter Pretorius, wide awake and alert. Oh, Chawane! Quick hands into Fenter's hand. Oh, that was brilliant. No wonder why. The crowd is erupting. Carla Pretorius reads that well. Taps it to find the bird. To find the man she picks up. Excellent play from the Spa Proteas. Quickly out to 8-4 South Africa. 
What I loved about that from Pretoria, she also directed Van der Merwe on the way through. And you feel like she's directing traffic at the other end too. Little bounce from Nia Jones to Tao Davis. Well, that is South Africa pulling away a little bit more. There we see Shep Siba on our screen, loving her life. But it is all about the South Changing Africans it up at the now moment. Changing the spa approaches. Most of the centre passes in the few, first few minutes were going to Nsomi. Van der Berg making her way now to collect the centre pass. We're seeing a bit of movement as well from Fenter in that shooting circle. Yeah, it's the nerves for Van der Berg. She's struggling to find her range. She's certainly on fire in this early stages of this game. Carla Pretorius again turning that ball in favor of the Spa Proteus and Van der Berg will sink at this time. That should be a confidence booster. Again, it's just some of the simple moves that Wales need to execute. Don't give South Africa any glimpse of an opportunity. Approaching five and a half minutes of this first quarter. Barely the first quarter, but the noise again will tell you they're reacting like it's a grand final. Well, it is the South Africans pulling away a little bit with that lead. And I'm really impressed to see the defensive pressure that the South Africans are applying on the Welsh attack. They're actually putting so much pressure that the Welsh are making a lot of unforced errors that we've not seen them do that before, even though in the three previous occasions that the South Africans and the Welsh team have met, South Africans have been successful. But we are seeing a very under pressure Wales team. I do think it has to do something with the fact that they're playing against almost 5,000 plus South Africans today. Ah, uh, Vanessa, I agree with you, and you know what the crowd does for the Spa Pro Cheers. It really encourages them, it builds them up, it propels them forward. Certainly delivering the goods nice and early in this first quarter. If you're Wales right now, those are Nelly. That's all you've got to do is just make sure on your centre pass, which sounds simple enough. But they've almost got to shake this noise out of their legs too. Yeah, I think it's important for them to choose the voices that they're listening to and make sure that when they do have their centre passes, they sink it just like that. Ina Marie Fenter putting not a foot wrong in this game so far. It's just so reliant in that shooting circle for the Spa Proteus. Well, there's less than four minutes left in this first quarter and we actually see the whole South African bench warming up on the side. I think it might just be for them to keep warm. You know, for a possible change, I don't see any changes happening from Norma Plummer as of yet. Might see a change or two after the first quarter, but the team at the moment, they're just gelling, they're finding momentum and building to something great. I think you could be sat on that bench with your feet up and you'd still be warm inside this arena, Venez. Oh, Caroline, I can't agree with you more. It's actually palpable. The energy is, you know how energy turns into heat energy? I think that's every breath in this atmosphere is just contributing to the fire that we see on court too. Some of these shots, though, from the South African internationals, it's like 
they're playing on the courts of home with maybe two or three people there the calmness that they've shown in this first quarter here come Wales again again just got to cuddle that ball all the way down and not that definitely not that and I think you know Wales are struggling with that second phase ball Spot pressure is allowing them to get the center pass, but where does the second phase ball go to? Really tight on defense. Oh, the quick hands again from Chawane to Ina Marie Fenter. That was brilliant. From back to front. Amazing. Exceptional. Oh, Zanelli, you know I love a goal shooter that can take ownership on in, in a goal circle. And that's exactly what Ina Merifenter is doing at the moment. You see that Almeray van der Berg is actually pulling the defenders off and giving Ina Merifenter that opportunity to dominate that circle the way she is. Yeah, she's playing more of a decoy uh, goal attack style there, Ina Merifenter, leaving that one-on-one -on -one in the shooting circle. Great splitting ball then from Jones into Dyke and back out to Claire Jones herself took a season out come back and has got that real experience but again cool going against them now South Africa build again Mawane involved to Chwane then comes captain Umsomi Van der Merwe has a scout round Umsomi again using every inch of these boards Venta doesn't fancy it, resets herself, has a look, her eyes been in for the majority of this first 15, step back, shoulders back, 18 up, the gap out to 10. South Africa, on time. Phenomenal first quarter, Sanelli from South Africa. Yeah, they've hit the ground running in this first quarter, it's going to be interesting to see if they can continue with this momentum and energy and intensity for the entire duration of the game. Yes, Coach Norman Palmer might introduce some fresh legs. And this is the exact start that they would have wanted. A good psychological moment for Wales, but it's all just got a little bit scrappy. Everyone have a stand still. Listen to the umpires. There we go. Pal Davis, Nia Jones, former footballer with a head down and off on a run. A sense this could be a big goal for Wales. One step with her now. Keep going. Row with a little step back. Thought it might be a bit too far for her. Thought she could have got the rebound too, but they do get the cool Wales. Still time on the clock. They'll need to be quick with it. The big up and under in. Jansen shoulders down, needs the high shot. Huge goal for Wales. Still though, percentage on the board is that for the hosts, South Africa. Brilliant first 15 from them. They caused that pressure on this Welsh side who was sticking with them in the early minutes. But it's South Africa who extend their lead at the end of the first 15. A healthy bit of breathing space for the hosts. Nine South Africa lead at the break then let's see if we can have a, a little listen in to the benches plenty for the, both coaches to get into at the end of this quarter I think let's go hard on that first phase like we talked about there is ball to be had on the first phase but we were going to really commit to it and we're going to really go over and take an extra step so we're kind of delivering them we're having a step with them and we think we've got them covered then we're just allowing them to take that one we can have that ball that's the one I want us to three 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 we 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 go yeah and, it moves we're back here, and, and then we're just letting them sort of receive the ball there mm -hmm. so run it through and see what we can have a go at yeah. sit high and off but every time you're coming back to say if there's a goal shooter or a goal attack we have to try and contest on them a little bit more so we have to give them a little bit of cheek and then
There was a moment in that first quarter when Vanessa Marie Dutoy said, what a time to be alive. Even if I was dead right now, this would be heaven. What a moment we're seeing in world netball, a shift, a rumble, the hosts South Africa, 89 up on Wales. But the joy from that first 15 is Wales more than capable of pulling the hosts back. Just seeing perhaps that they can shake some of those nerves out, some of the noise out of their feet as well and challenge the South Africa side heading into the second quarter. Advantage then South Africa after the first 15, Wales still very much in this fight. Claire Jones of Wales, 26th cap, first centre pass in this second quarter. Former South Africa captain yeah. Zanelli Mdadano alongside me. And this is very much what we saw at the start of the first quarter, actually. That's what Wales need to replicate. Yeah, they need to keep their centre passes, make sure they convert and turn over ball, make use of turnover ball. Been a couple of unforced errors in that first quarter from Wales. They will need to clean up, make sure that this margin doesn't extend. The gap rolls back down to eight. Just back out to nine again. So a better centre pass the goal from Wales. I was about to say that's all gone out the window, but contact then from Van der Merwe. Dyke with it. Pinpoint accuracy into row. Legs spread across that circle. Maneuvers herself out the way. Sharrington had goal attack bib on it. Goalkeeper there. with the goalkeeper. Yes, Row there. with a little wipe of her hands on the dress. Repositions up and through. It's exactly what Row needs to keep doing, making sure those shots just sink for this whale side. Was also enjoying this defensive pressure they're putting up. Nice and wide, the spot approach is taken then. Do eventually find Ina Marie Fenter in the shooting circle. Oh, some great shooting effort by both these sides. We see a really comfortable shooting percentage from Yarrington on 100% as well as Rowe on 88%. Coach Emily Hanside, you must be very proud of the girls' shooting ability at this point. Oh, well, so you asked for more contesting from that defensive effort. Um, I'd just like to know what you meant by that. Do you need more pressure up front or are you meaning more in the goal shooting circle? Oh, thank you so much, coach. I'll let you get back to the game. Thanks. So such is the noise inside the arena. You can appreciate it home sometimes we need a little bit of a communication with a wave to hear and that's what the players are having goal to do Zanelli as well in, difficult to in, make themselves line. heard so really trying to let their body make the the movement through court oh look at that ball speed down court from the spot approaches oh. brilliant offload to Ina Marie Fenter Yes, Shaw came close to turning it in favour of Wales. High definition netball. And the centre pass. Trying with it again. Such movement. In, out, around and through. Can't finish the job. Second bite at it. She's got confidence. That is Van der Berg at her best. She can pop those goals from anywhere in that shooting circle. She's got range. Bit of a nervous start there in that first quarter, but she's slowly but surely finding her confidence. 
first Netball World Cup for Van der Berg. So much experience in this South Africa side in the starting seven from Norma Plummer as well. Herself, Coach Plummer, draws level with the most World Cups as coach. She won gold in 2007, 2011 for Australia. And hoping to press repeat on that with South Africa. A whole age to go yet though. And Wales with something to say about it, despite the old wobble on the post. Bit of a hip check on that. So I think it's actually the battle of the wing attacks at the moment. We've got Bongi and Somi sitting on 12 feeds already with seven centre pass receives as well as four goal assists. And I mean, Beth and Dyke on the other side from Wales really complementing that and almost to the T the same stat. So the wing attacks are really delivering and managing so well on attacking side. So look, making look that the attacking side on both these teams in the goal shooting circles seems so easy. But the hard work really Contact starts from that mid-court. With the South African centre. Yes. <laughs> Set the penalty centre, stay out. Took a moment longer, but ends up in the same position. And Yarrington draws it back to 10. Soft hands from Somi. Right, here Jones tried to alter the passage of play but the sat now fully on yeah it's that speed on the attack from the spa approaches and those quick releases and then look down court seeing in a maria fenter and mark there in the in the shooting circle can wales make their own center pass count rose been shifting well in that circle she's stood in the 90% range as well just great shooting from both ends just about more opportunities the Wales need to create the real issue at them for the moment Would you change personnel, Zanelli for Wales? Yeah, well, most definitely. I think they do um, can do with some fresh legs in this uh, third quarter coming up. I am happy with the goal shooter row, though, in that shooting circle. And I think her positioning has been good. Would love to see, though, that Jones and Dyke could release that ball much quicker. Sometimes they hang on too long. Oh, that's the smile we've been waiting for from Funderburg sitting at 44 percent four out of nine Obstruction road thoughts about it midway through this second defense. quarter yes. just out to 11. i want to crush that 10 defense. mark again and yes. just draw south africa back in Obstruction you know penalty. south africa have the head-to-head -head on wales goal the defense. fourth time they've goal met defense. at a world cup south africa three up and just really having solidified that team, Mama Plummer, over the last few months. Yeah, pretty happy Spa Procure supporters there. Yes, the struggles continue for Wales. That second phase ball, they can't get into that goal third. They've been pressed in this midcourt. We saw a shot then of the, the three reserves for the first time at this World Cup. Teams are allowed to bring three reserves as well if a player is out for the rest of the tournament. They can swap one in. For the moment, about the seven on court. And those watching on from the sidelines. Carla Vittoris' facial expressions then, like a moody teenager. There. Yarrington cranes and steps in back to that 10 but they need to you feel get a turn potentially on the next couple of center passes oh look how high I'm Somi had to collect that center pass this is good pressure from Wales contact when you take up near the circle 
every player just being traced you know they're forcing them Spofford just to stay in that midcourt not allowing them to access the goal third nowhere to go from Somi look at the hands up from Wales you say that but the way that South Africa thread that through there's much more patient play from them that, that pressure ball that was in front of them just took their time ambling down the garden path Oh, just putting Rowe under pressure there. They should play it to the circle's edge. Oh, it's just those defensive efforts from South Africa really getting under the skin of the Welsh side at the moment. But it is Wales with that consistency on the shooting ability. I'm really impressed by the shooting capability and percentages of the Welsh team at the moment. But it is South Africa that's really been playing out of their skin. Oh, Bongim saw me a little bit of a ball that went astray. And Welsh on the attack. And this is what you spoke to, Caroline. You said they need a turn. But they've got to capitalise. They've got to make sure to convert. It's up to Yonton. Yes, she makes it count for the Welsh. And now the call comes for two. They want to back up Wales. They've snuck, they've dipped like an athlete under that 10 line. Now the cries of defense, defense come from the South Africa fans. Exercising patience. Oh, Wales and the offload to Rowe. Can she? Oh, does well to balance. Stays on court and she sinks it. This is exactly what they needed. I closed my eyes for that passage and knew she'd sunk it because there was no Back noise. Side, goal shooter. Wales doing well. Silence the crowd. It's a real tale, though, Zanelli. GC number of shots that they've put up South Africa really the difference at the moment but Wales level on this quarter score it's 30 plays 21 overall 12 12 on the quarter score Ah, the contest in that circle is escalating Pretorius and Rowe very physical body on body There's pressure, it's tense in that shooting circle of Wales. Yeah, talking about the pressure and the scuffing, it's so physical from where I'm sitting. A, a lot of off-ball contesting happening, so not necessarily where your eyes would go for the ball, but off-board. And uh, I think it's all about just trying to get it into each other's minds and trying to throw the game a little bit and see if we can... Oh, Faint. I just had to interrupt myself. Did you see that, Caroline? We're watching international ballet at its finest. Walking that line, Venter. Just can't stick it, though. Little shifts in momentum now. That is the control from Inna Marie Fenter does well to play that ball to Sormi, otherwise she would have been called for held ball. Approaching the two-minute mark. Experience of Kumza Mawaini. Yeah, and the crowd have been waiting for her to take one in favor of South Africa, and she's done that immediately. The crowd erupts, they love her in South Africa. She'd sensed a little shift. Wales taking a little bit of the advantage back at them. It may have taken a few moments more, but this time she sinks it. Beautiful take, two hands clean. The intercept line from Kumza Mawaini. Clean is right, so easy to get blown out of a game. Oh, the Welsh side really favouring that mid-court drive. You see a lot, oh, once again, that scuffing and a little bit of contact there by Pumza Maweni. But the mid-court, the mid-drives in the middle of the circle coming through is really benefiting the Welsh side. It means that from the same from the goal shooting circle going into that 
third, you're opening up the court so you actually have an option to play to your left and your right. And that just creates more opportunity for the Welsh team to attack. 45 seconds and under remaining. South Africa in these first two quarters have ridden some of that Wales pressure. Wales have got it down Outside. under 10. Just a bit rattly around yeah. that circle edge. They won't mind the time it takes to get down if this goes through. Hansen on the angle. Defense. I mean, it was an angle, not, not the one she'd want. She'll have it again. Pretorius yes. takes the talking to. Hansen takes the goal. 32-24. They'll need to be quick. South Africa. They opt to take the centre pass. Chawane, that's quick. That's electric through from South Africa. Just over the whistle. No, nope. she says she's done. I think maybe the court was worn out and the ball. Such was the pressure in those first two quarters. At times it was like Friday night fight night, but the majority of the blows being landed by the hosts. South Africa with a healthy lead to take into those final two quarters. They drew the quarter 14-0, but 32-23, they lead at the break. over their eyes at the break. Let's get some on whistle for each quarter. We Oh, goodness. And when we talk about a hunger for a win, it is indeed none other than what we are seeing here today with our Spa Pro Tiers. It is the 2023 Netball World Cup right here on SABC2. And it is the very first game that the Spa Pro Tiers begin off with their campaign in this World Cup. Now, one thing I definitely know is that when we were all watching this game, we were just enthralled by the netball that we were seeing. But more than anything else, the vibe was electric. Eskom, if you need a little bit of help, come to the CTICC. We've got you. Ladies, it is incredible to see what we're seeing here today. Mm -hmm. I want to start off with a partnership that I'm absolutely loving, and that is Mongi Wimswami as well as Kanisa Chawani. Please speak to me about that, Alsia. Yeah, there's lots of speed going through, but at the moment, I think Bungi is playing too high. Mm. We're missing that drive from the goal attack linking in, and mm. therefore, 
You can see that she's been closely watched. Bungi, they obviously did their homework. Yes. I think, um, can you, uh, you know, Casey is handling that ball well and she's driving, getting onto the top of the circle. Mm -hmm. But we're lacking a driver. We need another driver in there. And you could see it in the way uh, Wales just came back in that second um, quarter. Yes, 100%. And speaking of mm -hmm. the second quarter, many people talking about that our debutante, Alma Ray, she has warmed up. But of course, it took her just the very first quarter to kind of get to where she needed to be. Speak yeah. to us about that, Gina. Um, I think... Uh, as you guys know, it's the world stage, so there's a bit of nerves there. And as you say, it's, she's a debutante. Yeah. But I think she, she knows how to carry a team. Um, more importantly, I think she's still trying to find her feet yeah. in a sense of that's the drive, as Coach Alsha has been talking about, that we need from a goal attack. Um, that will alleviate the pressure from our wing attack to be able to do more give and goes instead of staying wide because Wales is creating a little um, area defense mm -hmm. in the middle in our attack, which is making it hard for us to move. Um, into but more importantly getting our shooter out of the circle too much so mm -hmm. we need less movements there everyone doing their, what they're supposed to be doing and I think Almore will pick it up and coach no more Tala definitely so sure. well this is what exactly what we want to see is in terms of our 2023 Nepal World Cup campaign as the spa pro tiers we caught up with some of them and are catching up with some of them right now in fact in terms of what they are thinking and what is going on let's go to that right now Inna Maria, fantastic start from you. I mean, you're shooting in the 90 percentile. Apart from that last miss, you only last uh, missed one goal. How's it feeling for a start in this uh, first game of the World Cup? I think um, we had a little bit of a hard week coming in, so we were ready for this. We know Wales is a great team. We can't just give anything. We have to give it all. We have to give a gold medal match every time we play, and I think that's what we're trying to put out there, and I think it showcases in this first half. And I mean, what's it feeling like for you playing around your home crowd today? It was very emotional. I think I teared up a little bit in the national anthem, but it's so special. Like the crowd is amazing. Like I think anybody that here knows that this is extremely loud. It's incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Next up, uh, I've got Georgia. I mean, uh, both shooters, both of y'all are shooting incredibly well today. I mean, you're shooting as well, 94%. You've only missed one goal. But uh, what would you like to see your team do a little bit better in the second half? I think just keeping composure right till the end of the whistle for each quarter. We were super strong, I think, beginning of the first quarter. It's just a shame that we slipped off. So I think for us, it's just taking it 15 minutes by 15 minutes and just really pushing on foot to, to the final whistle. And what's different about this one compared to the first time that you came around during the African qualifiers as a visitor? Yeah, it's great to play South Africa as our first game. Not only because it's obviously in South Africa, but we are secret champions of South Africa as a team as well. Um, I think, just like I said, just keeping composure. They're a super, super tough physical team. Very, very skillful. So for us, just focusing on what we're doing. And if things go wrong, just pushing on and getting straight back on with our next job. Oh, and the girls are shining indeed at the 2023 Nepal World Cup taking place live from the CTICC here in the Mother City. And I think we can be proud indeed. But what exactly went down, just in case you may only be joining us right now, check this out. A look to the skies and first centre pass. So when we look at the highlights, right, we of course are looking at South Africa taking on Wales the first two quarters. In the first quarter, we were seeing Wales sort of catching up in terms of keeping on par with the energy that South Africa was giving. What do you think we did right to try and draw away from them, Elsia? I thought our defence was quite close and you could see that the amount of errors that the Wales team made. It's just because we're pushing them really, really wide and then slowing their centre down through the middle. Then the feet went into Rao, who's a really tall shooter there at the back. Yes. But you could see Pumza at the back trying to force her forward. You could see that she's not comfortable taking that long shot. Mm. So I thought our defence was quite clinical in the way they're pushing wide, delaying the centre somewhat, getting those long feet in, and then Pumza was in, in the game. Both her and Carla combining well, as we know them to do. Yes, and Chinna, speak to us about the key position that Ina Marie has been playing ever since the beginning of the game. I think Ina um, is taking the role, well, the leadership role in the circle really well, um, just kind of gradually allowing Ella to find her feet. But I think her being um, an, a moving shooter is helping really well because that allows Ella to come in, in a, um, a second later to be the shooter. So there's a good variety of switching who's the standing shooter and who's the moving shooter. Because of the length, it doesn't matter because we're working with the same length of people. Yes. Yeah. And Elsia, we of course are going to be seeing some changes. If you were there, I'm putting you on the spot. What changes would you be making to this team right here? Well, definitely I'll bring in a new goal attack. So mm. I'll bring in Talia, Nicole Talia, definitely yes. for her speed. 
She's good in fetching the ball. She's a very creative player, quick hands. Uh, she can distribute the ball well. And then I would like to give uh, John Tay a run on wing defence. You know, a very similar game than, than what uh, Shadine is bringing at the moment. Not that Shadine is doing anything wrong. Mm. Just again, that player management, getting the legs, getting the nerves to settle. Uh, it would be nice to see the two of them out there. But uh, I won't make too many um, changes. Yes. Eight goals is not a lot. Four yeah. turnovers, mm -hmm. stay back in it. That's very true. Yeah. But, you know, speaking of which, I, of course, heard Alcia's thoughts in terms of that partnership between Bongi as well as KC. Yes. Kanyesa and Bongi, what do you say about them? Um, I think it's a golden combination we have as South Africans. Um, they bring so much speed, variety, accuracy, and the feeds into the circle. They're finding their shooters so well and have the patience to keep the ball alive before forcing it in. Unlike Wales, that's just um, Dyke just throwing that ball to row in the air, um, which we're getting because Shadeen is right around the circle picking up those pickups. So 100%, I think it's a team effort, but I think um, that combination in the middle is kind of forcing the errors um, to happen outside in the circles as well. Mm, and uh, Doctor, I, I want to ask you, if we had to then look at what we can possibly do very short in terms of pulling away even more than we have, what would be the right thing? Add another fetch in attack, we create enough turnover ball from behind, keep the ball in hand, get it through to the circle, we're shooting well um, and then we'll pull away. Oh, come on. <laughs> and this is exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to see netball being played in one of the most beautiful ways on the most beautiful continent. And that, of course, is right here in Africa. The Mother City said we're standing up and we're going to host them. And this is what we love. So make sure you do not go anywhere because this is continuing right here on SABC2. Remember to tweet us as well. Hashtag Game Change Her at SABC underscore sports. We want to see what you are thinking in terms of the game as well as what is going down here at the CTICC. It's the very first time that we are seeing this happen on the continent. Let's continue watching. So one thing, forgive me, <laughs> that I genuinely know of as well, is yeah. whenever we are looking at netball in this specific light, like you said, it is a world stage. There can be so many different nerves. Mm -hmm. I also know, though, that when we are talking about this specific thing that we call netball, it is none other than what we say. Let's get to it and let's win. And that's what we say to our spa proteas. Zanelli Umtadana alongside me, potentially some changes heading into this, but for Wales, a much better second quarter. We'll get the thoughts from Vanessa Marie Dutoy in just a moment as well, but having a little scout around the South Africa court. Looks like we're about to see a debut for Stratham coming on for South Africa. What an incredible moment to make your debut at a home World Cup. And is Jante Stradham on court then for South Africa? Vanessa Marie de Toy. I know she went to your school, didn't she? What an incredible moment for her. Yes, we were at the same high school, Afrikaans, we were Macy's school, Pretoria. What a mouthful. I won't expect you to repeat what I just said, Caroline Barker. But what an unbelievable moment. I mean, debuting at the first game of the Nickel World Cup held in Cape Town, first time on African soil. This is a moment for her. She is one of the most hardworking players that I've ever come across she just doesn't know when to stop and then on the other end we also see a change coming in on Nicole Talliard on that goal attack position in combination with Inamiri Fenter so changes on the defense and on the attack from the South Africans I think it might have to do with the fact that Wales won that second quarter with one point yeah bringing in some fresh legs then does coach Norma Plummer in this third quarter very happy to see Jante Stradom putting on the approach and getting her first cap. And Vanessa spoke to her, what a hard worker she is indeed. And this is a massive moment for her. And she's hoped that she'll deliver the goods here for the Spa Proteas. South Africa coming down court then. Captain Umsomi with that wing attack. Bibin to Taliad, didn't fancy that one. But she's got Venter there, who's been such a strength at goal shooter for South Africa in those first couple of quarters. 
Oh, that's a good turnover centre pass here from the Spa Proches. They made a count, but the defence from Wales. This is exactly what they need to do, but they've got to make sure they can take it through to the shooters. Unfortunately, unable to take that ball down. Oh, enemy defender with a 96%, only missing one opportunity. Coach Norma Plummer, you should be very proud of that shooting set, but also I see the introdu introduction of Nicole Tallard and then the debut of Jonte Stradom in the second quarter. Coach, just your thoughts on the changes after the first quarter? Oh, well, we've got a long way to go and I need to see how these other players also stand up in this situation. So, I mean, Jonte's new into the team. She's trying so hard. It's been fantastic. So she deserves a, uh, a start today to, you know, really put her into her. This is her cap, sort of, more or less. She, you know, she's been a kid that's worked extremely hard off-season in Australia. She even went out there to get experience. So you, you, have, you have to appreciate uh, the workload, and it's been great from her. Oh, Coach, the height advantage that you had in that first quarter with Inamiri Fenter and Almeray van der Berg, what are your thoughts on the attacking side currently? Oh, well, I mean, I mean, that's a beauty to have, but we started to go too wide in the second quarter because once the zone went on, and that's just the inexperience, but it was great that they did it because I've been telling them that you can't keep throwing high balls. We will need to adjust that, and we will work on that before we ever do a crossover and, and hit New Zealand. Oh, Coach, I'm taking notes. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck You're for the welcome. rest of the game. Bye. Little contact called against Georgia Road for Wales. Frustration. She stands with her hands on her hips. She just uncrosses her ankles and watches from the back as South Africa come again. That is Stradham. Little barrel ball over for Trane. Into him, so many great space. The calmness with which Fent took down that ball, wrapped her arm around it and delivered the baby to the world. Yeah, so reliable is Fenter in that circle of South Africa. Again, doesn't look like Wales are blinking. Although coach Emily Handerside just had a little look down the line then. And you may see a change coming for the Welsh Feathers in just a moment. They've got to try and do something despite winning that last quarter. It's not really worked out for them at the start of this third. Wales are ninth in the world rankings. Ooh, that one was nearly top draw. Yeah, that signature move from Taliat. Right foot takes the just decoys to the to the keeper to thinking that it's going to be a pocket ball, but rather it's opening up the goal shooter. But Fenton wasn't ready to receive that pass. Well, I do see some Welsh players warming up. Might anticipate. Bit of a change there. And um, I'll keep you posted. They have options. Kuti may come on. We're making her debut too. She can play goal shooter or goalkeeper, so that could change things up as well. Yep, Nancy Kuti also warming up. So I think there might be some changes coming through. I mean, South Africa leading by 10 goals. Oh, unfortunate contact to the post. For those who don't know, the post is actually this, the eighth player on court. You're not allowed to bump it. It's seen as contact against the post. And yet sometimes it feels the full force. I'm not saying you would have played it like that. I used the post to motivate me. <laughs> is that what you're doing when you hip check it? Yes. It's just motivational. 100%. I needed a friend under the post. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> Saying nothing. The voice of Vanessa Marie Dutoy on the sidelines. Zanelli Umtadana 
both of whom have stood proud in the colours of South Africa. And there's the post getting involved. There's a bit of a flick in from Moweni in there too. Yeah, and that offload was just misplaced. Again, Wales need to get onto the circle's edge. There's a lot of pressure on Roe there. Pumza Maweni, it's body on body. It's quite physical there in that sh shooting circle. Still shooting high though, Georgia Roe, but again, when you're just putting up 21 odd shots. I think everyone needs a towel down. The towel called onto court, and such is the high speed level of netball. They've got to make sure there's no sweat on those boards at all. But from the sideline, you see Pumza Maweni actually haunting down and doing the work, the dirty work. There is nothing she can't do. Nothing she can't do. And I think this moment, the break, just got the Welsh side where I was sitting on the defensive end. Just they were talking and communicating and they really used that opportunity. But talking about opportunities, Nicole Talia, the vision of that feed into enemy defender. I would love to see that one again on replay. This annoying 10 goal gap for Wales. South Africa on the whole have maintained. Row again. Wales. 30 comes up for Wales then. This group also has Jamaica in it and Sri Lanka. Also has a lot more of that. What are you oh laughing? Oh my goodness! How many times are the defenders of Wales going to be caught with that same fake into the pocket but they're actually opening up for the goal shooter very smart from the spa protest they are aware though that Shaw and Powell Davis are good game readers and they love to fly out of that shooting circle you can't give them too many opportunities because they will read that eventually although saying that we are in the third quarter South Africa, two goals up on this quarter, 10 up overall, about to be cut back down to nine. No, but well, she passed to herself. I love the way she really chased that ball down. Yarrington wants to make sure that she sinks this one for Wales. Just the ninth cap for Yarrington, 58th cap for Georgia Rowe. Standing up for her side. Joanne, we talked much about at half time and her strength. Just sipped around again. They're not the easy balls that are finding the way through. Really intelligent play and trust in those relationships. Yep. Took the words out of my mouth, Caroline. A bullet pass to Taliad from Inna Marie Fenter. Better passage of play on the attack now from Wales. It really Drive that ball down with speed. Little lean back and step to the side from Yarrington and the dance move pays off. <laughs> Approaching five minutes left of this third quarter. Now Wells are doing well for me, you know, to prevent the front players of the spa protest to collect that center pass. First phase, it's been a bit of a challenge in this quarter for the spa protest forcing Wales are forcing them to play the back ball so it's a good change up there from a defensive perspective it's really that first quarter that's the undoing for Wales at the moment it's an 18-9 first quarter to okay, South Africa okay, just struggle to get over the hurdle of that throughout still time although that won't happen Oh, could Maweni so happy with that? I mean, she, would, she even said, come on! Because it's really been tight in that circle between Ro and Maweni. The physicality, the body-on-body -body work. We were blessed in the UK to watch Venter really playing at the top of her game with Saracens Mavericks there in the Netball Super League. She's really taken that form into this tournament so far. Look at that creating the space for herself. Oh, Caroline 
so talking about that international experience, so happy to see so many of the South Africans actually coming back from playing in internationally, whether it is the English League and the Australian Leagues, the New Zealand Leagues, all of that combined, the experience that the South Africans have gotten playing overseas has just been incredible. And we see the growth from an individual point of view from all these players. And now it's just a matter of finding each other on court again. And it's beautiful to see how much they have grown. And how that experience, that overseas experience, has strengthened, you know, the, the, the team, the Spa Proteas. And they know who they're up against. Some of these players play in, in different franchises together, so they know their opponents. Oh, Talia uses the post, draw herself close, and she makes it count then for the Spa Proteas. That's also her trademark move. We call it the Nicole Taliat move. Now you find every little girl playing netball in South Africa passing to the post to get themselves close. Not just every little girl. I think you'll get yourself back out on the court doing that. South Africa! No, officially hung up my boots, <laughs> Caroline. There's if no I, going back. If I lend back. you a step ladder, would that help? <laughs> Maybe some breathing apparatus. Zanele, I'll pay good money for that. <laughs> There comes that change then from the Wales, from Wales in that shooting circle. Rowe will then sit this one out. Yep, it's confirmed. Nancy Kuti is getting the feel of the court at the moment. And uh, it's good to see that the changes are coming in. I think it's something that Norma Plummer was alluding to is the fact that it's really early still in the Netball World Cup. And to give opportunity for everyone on court to see what they're capable of, they still have the first stage as well as the second stage of this Little World Cup to get through. So settling of those combinations could be very crucial for the rest of this tournament. And equally, as you say, with Kuti coming on for Emily Handy's side to give her her debut to see another of the young players coming through. And seeing that Welsh pathway really try and excel on an international stage. Come and make a name for yourself. Ah, oh, this is good ball speed down court from the Spa Proteas. Saw me to Fenta. Such a strong hold for the Spa Proteas in the shooting circle, Ina Marie Fenta. She hasn't put a foot wrong in this match, shooting at 95%. Phenomenal. Approaching a minute left of this third quarter. Wells behind again on the quarter score. Just that acting pressure coming from South Africa just those key moments when they've been able to find a fly and disrupt the rhythm nice though eyes one way hands the other there's confidence for you very right. uncharacteristic from Inna Marie Fenter to miss that shot right under the post, but they get away with it. Does Wales can, can they find Kuti? Oh, unfortunately, Pretorius Maweni there to turn the ball in favour of the Spa Proteas. 20 seconds of this third quarter. Wales, plenty of time on the clock just to chip another off. Good movement back from Kuti. This time, make sure. Despite that little bit of a loose hand, she's shown confidence since she's come on court. Wales delay it with the centre pass. We're asking whether that one counts. The umpire says yes. Claire Jones asking some questions of the umpire. Handshakes all round. 47-37 on the break. A few three 15 minutes we've had. Another 15 minutes of absorbing netball to come. 47-37 South Africa League.
South Africa 47, Wales 37 as we head into the final 15 minutes of this, their first match here in South Africa for the Netball World Cup. Little huddle from South Africa. I'm Somi with the wing attack, Bibon. We saw Taliad come on in that last quarter as well. But so many of these South African players played to the top of their game. The likes of Strader making her debut as well. Looks like Carla Pretorius off on the bench as well for a well-deserved rest. As the flags fly high inside the international centre, it's now for South Africa to take the final 15 minutes out or whether Wales can come back them again 10 the gap <laughs> Chuane with that center bib still on get South Africa underway we were asking whether it might be a, a Wales center pass to Nelly Mdadana and it went South Africa's way we saw Wales captain Nia Jones go over to have a little word with the umpires potentially to check on that but no doing but they've turned it in their favor though Wales they just need to make sure that they can carry it through take it into that shooting circle see that change from the spa Proteus then from South Africa Nicholas Smith makes away on the goal defense position great to see Smith back on court A heavy injury to her stopped her heading over to the netball super league in the UK last season Claire Jones for Wales with it Carl Davis who as you say has come up with a a few of those turns for Wales a narrow two goal gap in that last quarter they won the second quarter it was an 18-9 first quarter already sink this one they've got a 2-0 breather in this Never say never. There's the defence again from Wales, but they do well. The South Africa, in a Marie Fenter taking that deep pocket drive again. Oh, this is so good from Wales. They really up the tempo here in this final quarter. Holding on for the full three. Stretching themselves. I love to see that Nicola Smith on court, as well as Nicole Talyar, they call themselves Nick and Nick. And they've been entertaining people on social media quite a bit. Uh, she's got 18 caps for South Africa, Nicola Smith, but it is her Nickel World Cup debut as well, Talyar. So, the first World Cup for the Spa Proteas. Well, she's also entertained the crowd off court, but on it, just getting those fingertips in then, maybe relieved a little bit of that pressure because Wales was sneaking back I always say Nicola Smith doesn't have an arm span she's got a wing span she's really got a reach on her and it's it can be quite elusive you think you can get past it she just gets that extra centimeter in getting the tips away so Nicola Smith a very exciting young player coming through the ranks for South Africa and good to see her out on the goal defense position because we know that she's most of her life played on the goalkeeper people seem to think that it's just a walk walk to the front position if you move from goal keeper to goal defense that's not the case she's had to do a lot of work you know to make sure that she can perform on the world stage on the goal defense position and gained a centimeter in that circle as well 88 centimeters high Still goalkeeper out of play. Fall back, goal shooter. Well, just scanning from the sideline where I'm sitting, the Sparpro tiers, all of them taller than their counterparts from Wales. So, and that's the Sparpro tiers definitely, yeah, that's sitting down, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's just from where I'm standing or where I'm sitting. See, I'm sitting down to have to watch the, the height of the other players. But um, the height advantage that the South Africans have quite significant. got a good leap on them just about regathering themselves Wales as that happens 
Man, what can we say about Carla Pretorius? The contest in that first phase, turning that centre pass in favour of the Spa approaches. So brilliant. Very few players can do that. Look at that. Two hands. Straight him. Oh, straight him. It's all right. She models herself on Pretorius. It's showing just the future's bright for this South Africa side. On debut, nerves of steel, you told me. She calls herself an adrenaline junkie. You see, she's feeding off this crowd here in Cape Town. Back up over the top. Just lost their way a little Wales now. involved too you'll know better than me Zanelli you've been up close and personal with this South Africa side they've been on six months training camps they've been working haven't they on that initial burst of speed on these connections definitely and knowing coach Norma Plummer she expects excellence and clinical execution from the Spa Proteus side Yes, this is the first game, you know, starting out, they're going to get better as the competition progresses. They're going to find their combinations. Oh! oh! And find Welsh hands at times. Paul Davis turns that one then. Brilliant intercept. They've got to make sure that he gets into that shooting circle. There's a double mark on Kuti. really looked at home inside that circle debutant for Wales problem is she's got such experience there in front of her Yarrington takes one straight into the belly When you look at what they've got in front of them, Wales, with Jamaica to come on Saturday too, do you feel they're, they're close to knowing that, that starting seven that they had? Would you roll that again against Jamaica? Probably start with it, but then, you know, make some changes. I mean, they've only made one change in this game. It's been in that shooting circle. I did think Wales well, had a really good first half but I love what Kuti brings as well she's bringing agility she's bringing innovation a bit of variety for the for the for Wales in that shooting circle Maweni oh and it's called back she is smiling she has to laugh that off oh, and the crowd are oh, not impressed at all yeah there were two calls made by the umpire the one she said that Maweni had stepped out but from I was sitting uh, it would, would have been a highly doubtable call and I think the rest of you know the audience and the crowd here actually picked up on that and then the second one was that contact so unfortunately you know if you go against one of the South Africans you're gonna go against all of them what's been really impressive from South Africa is the speed of releasing the ball and this is Georgia Rowe heading back on court which may be that indication she's had that time on the side little breather protect her heading into the next match as well but also a chance to reread things yeah i'm sure the coach must have had a word or two to row just to you know give us some instructions of what she needs to go and do in that shooting circle for wales i think also this change has been brought on because of that high to off smith goalkeeper goalkeeper no more obstruction it's the wales fans still keep applauding just to show you how far Wales have come we said they weren't at the World Cup in 2019 this will be the closest margin between these two sides of any World Cup match previously even though they'll still be on the wrong side of it understandable the airs crept a little out of the balloon towards the end of this one 
but still South Africa shooting lights out. So consistent shooting stats from both the Spa Proteas, Ina Marie sitting on 91 and 88 for Taliart. Yeah, talking about those stats, something I need to mention and it's something a little bit concerning for me is the penalty count at this point. You see the contact call, 47 compared to 24 for Wales. So South Africa really a quite a high penalty count as well as 20 obstructions compared to Wales, only 9. So South Africa really applying a lot of pressure but might have to look at that penalty count if they want a successful Netball World Cup going forward. becomes 57 for South Africa five minutes left of this party that will carry on rolling for the next nine days okay, after this fans, that's what we call a bender Caroline <laughs> a nine-day party here at the Netball World Cup 2023 I call it a weekend can I come to England and <laughs> just come and visit you once maybe <laughs> saying nothing. The look up from the Welsh bench. Emily Handerside has previously been in charge of England's under 21. She's all about pathway, developing new players and bringing them through. She'll be pleased with some of the performances from her younger feathers. Oh, it's the courage. Errington offloads to row. Over the top. Not going to matter in this match. But still, you feel Norma Plummer will note that one down. Powell Davis back into Nia Jones, the Wales co captain. Jones finds Jarrington, who's been potting her feet through this one. Straight over the top to Rowe. Haven't used that enough. She can't drop it. Mawaini's golden hands are there. Oh, Joanne takes her own player. Straight and fills the force. And so many quick as you like through. Sign them all up to trainer deals because they barely touch the surface. Oh, so smooth, so seamless. Mawaini, three foot jump. Turns it in favor of the spa approaches. They take it down court with so much speed and precision. Again. Oh. Brilliant save then from Wales to sink it. South Africa fans are dancing in the stands behind the Welsh bench. A little bounce in. The shoulders back for the 60 up for South Africa. Putting on an exhibition for these final few minutes. Everything going the way of the hosts now. Smith. I mean, she's good in Somi, but she needed to stand on other shoulders to get that. So Christina Shaw and Paul Davis on that defensive side, they're just missing those flying interceptions by seconds for the Welsh side. They're reading it, they're seeing it. It's just a matter of not getting their timing in for those. And you can see the frustration from the defensive side of Wales, just really wanting to go. Once again, she's going for them. That time she got a hand to it. But she's definitely a flyer, as what we would call her here in South Africa. Right, Zanele? She's a flyer, she's reading it. She needs to prepare, she needs to stand a little bit you know, on top of that circle. I think what, what's making her miss those flies is that she's starting a bit deep in the shooting circle. But here come Wales then, they've turned that ball in their favour. There's a sandwich on row. Contact, goalkeeper! Wait, goalkeeper! 
Oh my goodness! Pumza Mawini quickly reacting to that ball. A persistent contact, caution. Oh. Any further instance of foul play was It's a caution Mawini. against Mawini. I mean, she's picked so much up in this match. A caution comes as well with it. She'll shake that off in the final stages as we approach the last minute of this, the first match for the hosts here in Cape Town. 60 plays 49. And they haven't managed to gamble really above that 10 goal gap of Wales. They took that second quarter by just a goal. They showed fight and spirit at the start of each quarters, but haven't been able to hold that consistency throughout. The likes of Georgia Rowe, when she's had that chance, has more often than not put them away for the Welsh feathers. They'll get themselves back up in the next 24 hours. They'll take on Jamaica. This pool really one of the frightening ones here at the Netball World Cup. Such is the quality in it. But it'll be South Africa as we head through the last 20 odd seconds of this, who will finish with ball in hand for the moment. Just playing it around like their childhood dreamers. Another put up. They've had debutantes. They've taken moments on court. They've had flying intercepts. They found those air miles. But on the closest of courts to their hearts and their homes, to their family in the stands, to the fans as well who've cheered them on, this has been the birth of South Africa. On these shores, in this moment, they stood for their team on the court. The seven to the 12 to the coaches have performed and South Africa take the win. A huge win for South Africa and for Norma Plummer too. We talk about her experience as a coach. This, her 100th win as a coach of an international side, the majority of which came with Australia. She has those two gold medals in her back pocket, but oh, how she'd love this, just to be the start of a fortnight of dreams for her side. Will it carry them all the way to that final come Sunday? For now though, the one win off and running for the hosts, South Africa. The embrace for both sides, customary in netball, the hard fighting left on the boards of these courts, and now in the huddle, standing and raising each other. A contest they've been in South Africa, the closest they've been taken before. And Nia Jones repeating that to both sides. It's really annoying because we really like you guys. Um, we've played you now, we'll be cheering you on to the end. Thank you, boy, up in my She said it's really annoying because of how much she likes them, but now they become South Africa fans from here until the end. The win then for South Africa, 61. 50. Zanelli, just final thoughts from you, former South Africa captain, what this moment means. It means everything, Caroline. We've been waiting for it. The nation has been waiting for it. I think all the nerves are out now. It's all about upwards and forwards. From one former captain to the current one, Bongi Somi's name has been sung around these courts. We'll hear from her now on court with Mampo. An electrifying performance from your side as the skipper, Bongi. How are you feeling about the team's performance as well as the couple of debutants that you have? Look, I think uh, this team is a great side. We have such great depth. Um, so glad that, you know, the new players could step on the court, especially the likes of Jante Stratum. Uh, obviously with Nicola getting her first, I guess, World Cup match initially as well. I think we've been doing a fantastic job as a group, but credit to the coaching staff. But yeah, I'm so glad we started like this. There's a few things to work on, but you know, we can take the win for a first match. And for all the viewers watching out there today that are supporting you, what do you have to say to them? Oh, I have to say the crowd here was really fantastic. So thank you so much for, to them for coming out in numbers. But also everyone who's back at home, they sent us messages, you know, of support. So we're really grateful for all their support. Thank you, Bongi. Thank you. Nia Jones, a tough one in the office, uh, especially in the closing stages. How are you feeling about the team's performance? Yeah, to be honest, I think the first quarter, obviously, is what separated us in the end. We were really close. We won the second quarter, which we were really happy with. But it's just about keeping the score competitive at quarter time. So 
yeah, I think we've got loads of positives we can take into Jamaica tomorrow, but I mean, what an honour to play in this opening match against a team like South Africa. And we can take huge confidence from the, the long periods of that game where we were really competitive, I think. And how's the experience been for you guys in South Africa thus far? Honestly, so special. It's such an honour to play in this opening match. The hospitality has been amazing. The volunteers have been so, so kind. And it's always a huge honour to play against the Proteas. We've had a few duels over the years and they're really, really good, but they're also really nice people. So it's always a great contest. Thank you for your time. Thank you, cheers. And it's the player of the match, Ina Marie, twice. We play it nice. How are you feeling about this one? The earth, I'm so emotional. I'm like, the cheers are just very shallow. But yeah, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, you've been a spectacular, particularly with your conversion rate. What's been the mindset coming into this tournament? I had not the smoothest um, lead up to this um, World Cup, and I just thought, like, you know what? I have to say, like, I saw this quote saying, it's one day or day one, and I'm just like, this is day one. Like, I'm starting today, and I think that's just the mindset I went in, just to enjoy it as well. Well, you certainly started well, all the best. Thank you very much. I'm so proud. Venter then, player of the match for South Africa. Zanelli Mdadana, I ask you to express your feelings for that one. A contest is right after that second quarter that Wales actually won. It was very much the start of each quarter that we saw from Wales where they caused problems for the South Africa side. Yeah, it's that first quarter where South Africa just hit the ground running, winning it 18 goals to nine. But then Wales stayed in it for you know, the, th the second, the third and the fourth, winning that second quarter. So it's just for Wales to realise that a good start, you know, might keep them in, in the game. And that's something that I'm sure they'll definitely go back and work on as they're going to be taking up Jamaica in their next match. But a brilliant performance from the Spa Proches. It's good to see that they look like a well-oiled machine and we're looking forward to seeing what they're going to deliver as the competition continues. Actually, the smallest margin that Wales have lost to South Africa at a World Cup, so just shows actually how tight it was for them and Wales when they're ranked ninth in the world, very much on target for challenging as they want to and being in that top 10 come the end of this tournament too. But look at that shooting accuracy as well. The penalties, perhaps a concern in this one, double for South Africa, but they get the win on the board. Vanessa Marie. Zanella, thank you too. And to those that have watched on from the stands, the Wales fans in their bucket hats sung their hearts out, but it was always going to be second best to this majority South Africa crowd. We heard them walking down the streets from the early hours of this morning. We saw them with the face painting on. We saw them with the flags draped around their shoulders. They stood and celebrated in that opening ceremony and they got what they deserve from that opening match for South Africa. The tournament is up and running. A World Cup win for South Africa, their 50th, and the World Cup party is open for business.
then also just talking about